how to use T-Lab app on your Shopify. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how we can do this. So we're going to show you how to install the app and also how to set it up. So uh, first, let's just give an overview, overview of what T-Lab is. It's pretty much an application that is going to help you translate or add multiple different languages to your Shopify store. So you can have a language switcher and also you can add more languages. Uh, once you add more languages, you can have two different types of translations. The first one is going to be auto translation with AI. So it's actually going to use AI and translate the entire site for you for the uh, language that you have selected. The second thing is going to be manual translation, which is going to be something that you have more access to because the AI translation uh, is going to be depending on the plan that you would uh, want to go for. Now, this is going to help you quite a lot. And this is not only the features that are available, you can actually do more things uh, like add a language switcher on your site and so much more. So let's just go and get started and show you how to install it. So the first thing is going to be logging into your Shopify admin and going to Shopify app store. To go there, you just want to click on apps, click on all recommended apps and click on Shopify app store here at the bottom. Once this opens up, you basically just want it to search for T Lab, as you can see. And it's actually going to be the first uh, result here, which is T Lab AI Language Translate. This is the one that we wanted to go for. So just go ahead and click on that. And we can uh, read more about it here, as you can see. So it's actually going to give you manual bulk and AI translation. Depending on the plan that you have, uh, really varies how many AI translations or auto translations that you'll be getting. For example, here, auto AI, AI translation, update new or outdated uh, content. And then we can also have more things here that you can read uh, if you want to. And if you just go down to the pricing here, we can actually go in and see the different uh, plans that they offer. We also have a free plan, which is going to give you 20 languages that you can add. You can also add uh, AI translations for win one language. And we also have unlimited manual translation, so you can feel free to manually um, update or translate to different languages. Uh, and then we can also have bulk AI translations and so more, so so on. Uh, so we also have more plans here for the, for example, the pro, business, and premium. So just feel free to pause the video, see which plan is going to suit you best and your business. Now moving on, we just need to install it. So just go and click on install. And once this loads in, uh, we basically just need to go ahead and confirm the installation real quick. It shouldn't really take too long here. And click on install one more time here at the bottom right. Which is going to take us to the setup process. So the setup for this uh, specific app, which is T-Lab, is actually very simple and easy to do. So let's just go in and take you step by step on how to do it. The first thing is going to be ignore everything in here and just go to online store. Click on online store, go to themes and just click on your theme and click on customize. What we are trying to do here basically is just go to the app embeds and enable the app so we can have the language switcher, which I already did enable previously once I actually tested things out for myself. And it looks something like this. So in order, in order for you to show this, you just need to click on app embeds here at the left side panel, click on that. And then you should find two different uh, apps or app embeds that needs to be enabled for the T lab app. So make sure these are enabled as you can see. And then just click on save from the top left. I mean, top right, sorry, and exit out of here safely. Once you exit out of here, we just need to go back to the application and set it up to add languages and translations. So just go to apps, click on T lab, and this uh, dashboard is going to be open again. And in here, we basically just want to start with the languages section. So you just click on languages, which is going to be pretty much where we add the different languages that we can translate manually or with AI, depending on the plan that we have. So it says default store language is English and we have zero languages added. And the max here, we have 20 languages, but if you have a different plan, it could be more. But anyways, to add a language and get started, you just click on add language from the top right and select the language that you want. So I'm just going to click on Arabic and click on add language. And, and once you do that, you can actually see we have language, Arabic, 
unpublished and the markets are inactive and also the uh, AI translation is not enabled yet and it is not even published. So we could start with the manual translation and show you how it actually works. So if you want to do manual translations, we can just click on translations here at the uh, left uh, dashboard. And in here, we can actually go and select the language that we want. Select Arabic, go to products, for example. And in here, we can actually see we have product, uh, collection, filters, theme, media files, all of these different things that you can actually feel free to uh, translate. But let's just stick to the product section, click on products. And for this store, the only product that I have is this test one, which is red. Uh, and you can just feel free to translate the title for it if you have a, a description, which I don't. But if you do, you can also feel free to add the translation for it here as well. But let's just do the title real quick and write down red and Arab in Arabic. And once that's done, we can also change the uh, product type and tags. We can also feel free to translate pretty much everything about this product. Once we're done, we can just click on save. And this is now pretty much saved for us. So we only translate the products uh, for the Arabic, but we can just go to collections here, for example, see any collection that we have, for example, the homepage, we can just go ahead and give it another title. So I'm just going to write random Arabic text here and click on save. And now this is translated, we can just go back to uh, this section, find something else that we want to translate. The theme, for example, if you want to, and you can just go back to media files, payments, shop, you can feel free to manually translate every single thing here, or we can actually use the auto AI translation, which is down here. But uh, this is not going to be available here for the free version, unfortunately, so we can just go to uh, translations instead, or actually, you can just go to languages. Uh, let me just add another one real quick. Click on us. Uh, let's just add Spanish. And once we add Spanish, click on add language. So for the time being to uh, in order to publish a language, you can just click on publish from the right side here, it's actually going to be published on your site. And if you want to enable the AI translation, which is going to have uh, you're going to have one access to it if you are on the uh, free version, as you can see, so click on enable and click on accept. And now it should be enabled here for us. And whatever you actually do when it comes to translations is actually going to be applied once it is published. So if you have it published, you're good to go. And uh, the changes are going to be saved. But let's just go back to translations here. If you want to switch languages and translate for a different language, you just go to the top here, select Spanish, for example, go to products, go to whatever you want to change or add uh, a translation to and add that in Spanish. And again, just click on save. And this should now have been translated to Spanish as well. Uh, and then we also have more things here if you want, for example, if you want to import or export, uh, you know, uh, translation text, you can feel free to do so. And now this should be good to go. Now, if you just go to your online store, and if it's, you know, loaded in, we can actually see we have Arabic and Spanish on our store, and it should have the uh, at least the few words that we have translated available. And I actually almost forgot you need to enable them uh, in the different markets that you have uh, the languages. So to do so, just click on open market settings right here next to the inactive word. Click on that. It's actually going to take you to the markets that you have. So for me, I only have domestic and international. So I'm just going to click on this one and just click on languages and domains and click on add language at the top here and you should be able to see the languages that you have. So make sure you add both of them. And this should be saved, we can just go back to the same uh, setting, which is going to be here and we just go to markets. Like so I click on international, click on languages and domain, and it's also added in here, which is good. Okay, and now we're pretty much good to go. Again, like I said, if you go to your online store, and open up the switcher, you should be able to see Spanish and Arabic uh, ready to go. So we can actually see we have Arabic and Spanish. If you click on that, it's going to translate whatever we have translated, but for the time being, we don't really have anything except for the uh, product here, the product name. If you just go to Spanish instead, it's going to also give us the translation that we gave. 
So yeah, this is pretty much how to use T-Lab on Shopify. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.